Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the final match for the 2034-2035 um, season. We are already playing it. I forgot to press, you know, the microphone button. T forgot to turn it on. So I had to start the episode all over again midway through the match. But that's okay. That's absolutely fine. So as we just, you know, concede a goal so sad on the final match we are currently seventh on the table uh, which puts us in a position to go to the European um, competition however if I change this to league table however that doesn't actually matter because we are the winners of the Carabao Cup so so we we go to conference league regardless of which position we finish in um, other news, finance-wise, we're doing quite... I'm a bit concerned that we're spending way more than we can. Uh, mainly down to player wages. So, we're not doing so so good. Um, player stats this year aren't amazing when we look at goals. Um, there's a good spread of goals, but no one's standing out as a goal scorer. I guess Emra was being slightly plagued by injury this year so he's way off the pace for us the standout guy is Alejandro I guess with seven goals and 13 assists that's pretty good um, so well done to him let's go back to the match yeah so no other news really other than the fact that we're now playing in our own stadium back at home in Edgar Street all of the seats um, Sorry, the seats have been upgraded to 14,000 capacity, um, which means we have double tier on every stand, on every side of the stadium. A penalty. What are these guys doing? All right. Anyway, I was also in the middle of saying that when I realized I didn't have a microphone on, that. Um, We've had some mentions in the list of 50 best wonder kids in football. In number two, we had our very own Malachi Field, who is currently playing. Um, he's down here. He's the defensive right. He was in second place. And then in number 24, he's not playing at the moment, but uh, he's our left defender um my coffee is actually coming off yeah i'll put gutierrez down gutierrez is meant to be playing on, on the left i think most of the time but um actually no he's on the right as well yeah he's on the right um he was number 24 so gutierrez so both our defensive right players have been mentioned in the list um, let me just do these subs before I can focus on speaking again. Uh, Robip. Oh yeah, Robip. So, brief um, recap on Robip. is our uh, sponsor's new gen at the moment. If you want to sponsor it, a new gen, head over to Patreon. You can do it there. And then I'll mention your new gen in the episodes. So he's, a, he's actually had a pretty good season, I think, compared to previous seasons. To be fair, he had his first season was pretty good as, as well. But in terms of goals, six goals, that's his best, that's his season record so far. Four assists, three players of the match. He's doing pretty well this season. Um, yeah, so, but he's coming off, I'm afraid. Um, and we're gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna put weavers there. Um, I'm gonna try and get Hames also used to the left side. I managed to retrain Stan to play on the left, and I'm hoping to um, train Ben as well to do the same. So I'll use this match to give him a bit more exposure. Um, and then we also had some players that are no longer with us mentioned in this wonder kid list at number 47 we have um, a 
think he was a uh, attacking midfielder left that we loaned in from Birmingham. So he's mentioned, and then further up, we had um, Trilovic, who was also our defensive right. Really, is a, is a bit a, a bit of a trend on this on this list. Um, at number 19, so he used to be our player as well. Uh, now gone back to Manchester United. It's a bit of a shame to finish on a loss, but to be fair, we have achieved our goal, which which is to go to the European competitions. So that is a given. So this game doesn't really particularly matter because it's not going to change. I don't think it's going to change which competition we land on. But they do award some extra slots based on coefficients later on in the summer, but I, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Let's leave her out of it. We haven't got any more subs, so... <laughs> I'm a little bit under the weather today, so apologies for my croakiness. up because I think they must be on a draw at the moment if they score and win they'll overthrow us off that seventh place um, but yeah so I'll come back next season with some new players we have three players retiring uh, in attack uh, in defense and one of them in defensive midfield as well, I think. So, we'll have some new faces around. I'm hoping not to spend too much money. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll do a squad refresh and I'll show you that in the next episode. Just to confirm then, we finished 7th, which is pretty good. Which gives us a... Um, da, 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 da. Which gives us uh, a ticket to the Conference League. The, this might get bumped, so we might actually, as they award more places with the coefficients, sometimes it goes down to 8th and 9th. So it might get bumped to the Europa League, but I I doubt it. Um, I don't know. I guess you'll have to find out in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching until, until the end. It was only a short episode, but I just wanted to show you how we're going to set up for next season. Thanks so much for watching again, and take care. See you in the next one. Bye.